You already know who it is, but just in case you forgot. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's your boy Jeff and I'm back with another great topic I'm gonna touch up on. So I'm gonna need you to relax, put your phone on the stand, kick your feet up, throw your headphones on, and enjoy the content that's about to get thrown at you like a pitch. <laughs> yeah. But before that, let me make a quick phone call. You think this a game? I told you I was gonna find you. Hold up, get in a phone call. Hey, what's up Jeff? Hey yo, Super Muster, what's up? Listen, I need you to do me a favor. I know you're busy, but I'm gonna need you to play that intro for me, Pop. Yeah, I got you, no problem. Hey, all right, thanks, bro. Now back to business. What the? Where he go? He escaped? What's good, YouTube? My YouTubers, I'm back again, feeling like Ric Flair up in here. I am amped up today, man. Today is Saturday. Today's topic is about taking action. Let me start off by saying this. You know how many people expect results or expect something by not doing anything? A lot. There's this issue that a lot of us have, many, many of us have, which is we waste our time talking to someone about what we want to do instead of actually going out to do it. Instead of wasting your time telling other people what you want to do and what you want to accomplish why don't you use that time to actually go do it Both. you know what the problem is it's so much easier to say what you want to do than to actually go out and do it Both. it's so much easier to complain and about your problems than to hold it in and take care of that on your own Both. it's so much easier to tell someone else what they're doing wrong instead of what they're doing right Both. it's so much easier to talk crap about someone else than to compliment someone else Both. it's so much easier to tell someone you hate them than to tell someone you love them Both. it's so much easier to be lazy than it is to be productive Both. are you following where i'm going with this it's just easier to do the wrong things than it is to do the right things however doing the right thing always wins at the end always always and you definitely feel a hundred percent better about yourself physically and mentally by the way if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what you think about it or what else you want me to talk about and make sure to subscribe to your boy yeah. if you guys agree with what I'm saying and support it please share it you are the decisions you choose to make and listen to that word choose which means you have a choice you're not obligated to lie you're not obligated to do the wrong thing you have a choice if you choose to do the wrong thing if you choose to go the wrong way and you know what's wrong then that's the kind of person you're molding into those are bad habits that you're getting accustomed to but you have a choice and if you choose to do the right thing which is harder it helps you to become a better person because you start getting accustomed to that you need to learn to become a problem solver you can either waste time that you're not gonna get back complaining about it or you can use that time to think about what can you do to solve that problem that little adjustment to your thinking goes a long way in life you hear that Buckets, water, I'm dropping points all day. What ends up happening is you start taking these obstacles, these negative times as a challenge to challenge yourself and to see how you can solve it. That's how you turn a negative situation into a positive. Now, if you just start complaining, start whining, wasting time, tell me, what did you solve by doing that? Because usually a lot of times, get nothing out of it when it's something you want to accomplish take action man don't tell anybody what you want to do just do it people will see the results results speak for itself just do it because a lot of times we talk about it we just talk talk we have all this energy to say what we want to do well what we're going to do then months go by and it's like so where where's it at it's all discipline it's discipline you have to teach yourself the same way you discipline yourself to wake up every single day at a certain time to go to work the same way you cook every single night at a certain time the same way you are on your phone all the time 
to whatever, be on social media. That's all discipline. Believe it or not, you're teaching yourself to do this on a consistent basis and it ends up becoming second nature. Don't be surprised. If you're not where you want to be, you really have to be realistic with yourself and ask yourself, are you doing the work? Many times we're lying to ourselves. Many times we think we're working hard and we're not. You know how you got to think of it? What I do that helps me is I think of my competition. I think about how much harder someone else with my same problems is working harder than me. Because that's the thing. There's always going to be someone else that's doing better than you. Always. The same way there's someone else that's doing worse than you, there's always going to be someone else that's doing better than you. And you got to think about your competition. You got to think about how that person is working their ass off and they're actually getting somewhere. Because it's like, if they're going through the same situation as you are, or they have a worse situation and they're making it out, what's your excuse? You want to be comfortable? Okay, keep being comfortable. Let's see where that gets you. So guys, the takeaway here is, if you want something, stop talking about it and go do something about it. Stop complaining about your problems and go handle it. Stop being comfortable and get uncomfortable. Learn to evolve, challenge yourself. With negative problems, turn those negative problems into challenges and you'll see how quickly your mindset changes. You already know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. You already know, I'ma see you next time. Just Jeff out of here. Peace.